use the review chamber. Hi Paranja fans and welcome back to the review chamber with me, Joe from the Ranger Chamber team. Now, today I've got something very special and brand new to review for you guys today. Now, what could this special item be? Well, you know, Hasbro has done a pretty amazing job giving us some pretty awesome Paranja products, but now it's time for the UK to get some brand new Mighty Morphin stuff. So I have today, I have not got, I haven't got not just one, or two, but three uh, Power Rangers Morphin Heroes. So I have these three figures of the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger and Pink Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Hasbro's own take of the Automorphin Fliphead figures. Well, sort of. Well, without further ado, let's get into this review and check out the Power Hasbro's Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Action Heroes or Morphin Heroes. <laughs> Okay, so let us begin. As you can see, we have got the three uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Morphin Hero figures. So we have Jason the Red Ranger, Kimberly the Pink Ranger, and Billy the Blue Ranger. And this is really cool. I do like that the that Hasbro are doing their own Mighty Morphin Power Ranger toys, as because as you guys know, this Mighty Morphin is my favourite series of Power Rangers, and it'd be really cool to see what would these toys be like. Okay, now these toys are basically the Hasbro's kind of own take on the Automorphin figures which we had back in 1994 and yeah, well, let's just get into the review and see what we got. So first of all, we're going to take a look at each of the individual figures in their packaging and then we'll open them up and take a look at the figures um, outside the box. So let's start, shall we? Now, here's your, now as you can see straight away, we've got nice illustration artwork of the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger and that Hasbro Star artwork, pretty much like the Beast Morphers packaging, which I really like. And we've got the Power Rangers logo, Red Ranger Morphin Hero with the Hasbro logo, and the figure itself, which is in the open packaging. And we have a little illustration here of the what it can what the figure does. Morphs, it says. And it looks pretty cool. And then as you can see we've got his power sword, which is Red Ranger Jace's main weapon. We turn the box to the side. As you can see we've got the Mighty Morphin Black. Oop, sorry. Got the Mighty Morphin Black, Blue and Pink Rangers, looking really cool. And then if we turn to the other side, we have got oop, the Mighty Morphin Yellow and Red Rangers looking absolutely more phenomenal in that same style of artwork. And on the back, we can see the figure itself and also the two other figures which are currently available, which is Blue Ranger Morphin Hero Billy and Pink Ranger Morphin Hero Kimberly. And it says, uh, squeeze legs to morph the Power Ranger figure. So that looks really cool. So, awesome stuff. So, let's take a look at the next figure packaging being Blue Ranger. Alright, so here's the packaging for Blue. So it's pretty much the same as the Red Ranger, only it's got the Blue Ranger. So let's take a quick little look at the Blue packaging. So as you can see, we've got the figure itself with his Power Lance, which is located here. And we have got the Blue Ranger artwork with Blue Ranger Morphin Hero, Power Rangers logo, Ages 4 Plus, and the Hasbro logo. And turn to the side, black, blue, and pink Ranger on one side of the packaging box. And we've got the red and yellow Ranger on the other. And then we turn to the back, we've got the packaging to show the illustration of the the figure itself and also available Jason Red Ranger Morphin Hero and Kimberly Pink Ranger Morphin Hero squeeze the legs to activate the morph action which we'll take a look at when we look at the figures themselves okay so that's all right so that's the Blue Ranger pretty much all done with the packaging now let's move on to Pink Ranger Kimberly okay 
So number three is Pink Ranger, Kimberly. Now obviously this is a female figure, so it's going to have the skirt and it's very very nice bright pink, I love that, very vibrant and that's what I love about the Power Ranger figures from Hasbro is they all have very nice vibrant colours especially this Pink Ranger one, it's very nice and just quickly as you can see the Pink Ranger artwork with the Pink Morphin Hero Power Rangers logo just like before and then pink, black and blue on one side of the box and we got yellow and red on the other side and then on the back of the box we've got the well Pink Ranger figure itself it's Kimberly wearing what seems to be a gymnastic headband so that'll be interesting there was a bit of paint error on that figure but never mind <laughs> at least they corrected it for the figure itself uh, but we'll take a look at details and such because now it's time to take a look at all three figures themselves together all right so now we've taken all three figures out of the boxes we can now take a look at the figures themselves and I have to say I love them they just look so cool and there's more to it but let's just take it one step at a time first let's take a look at the detailing for each figure so let's begin as you can see straight away we've got a nice illustration well not really illustration but we've got some nice paintwork on the Red Ranger's helmet with silver for the teeth and the mouthpiece and black for the visors and for the eyes on both sides we move down We've got a nice Tyrannosaurus gold coin on the chest, which looks very nice. And the gold power coin in the power morpher. Although the morpher should be silver, but that's to be expected, unfortunately. Hasbro can't be. Mm. And there's also a little paint error with the diamonds on the boots. Well, my Red Ranger anyway, but that's just a little minor error. I don't think it's going to... It's not, it's not going to really bug me that much, but it's fine it does look really cool I like how it looks and obviously the power sword is a very nice well it would be nice if the coin could have been painted silver instead of just being plain red but there you go and also the handle should have been black but there you go um, but yeah that looks pretty cool though nice silver detailing for the blade and there you go next we're moving over now to Billy the Blue Ranger now I know, straight away, I've noticed something a bit odd. There's no silver on the middle horn for the Triceratops horn on this helmet. Just like these back horns here. And we've got that nice greeny yellow for the eye, all the same. The Triceratops coin on the front, looking very nice. And also on the, on the Power Morpher. Although, I do think the Morpher should have been painted silver regardless. And the paintwork on the boots, perfect. And now over to the other figure, which is Kimberly. Obviously, she's got a different build because she's a female figure, but she looks very nice. The only paintwork missing on her helmet is the eyes on the pterodactyl right there, green or orange usually. And then we've got the pterodactyl coin on her chest and on the power morpher as well. And the boots looking very nice. Now there is other detailing to show you but I'm gonna have to do something first so I'm just gonna put the camera back for you guys. Now I'm gonna turn the figure around look at that. There is a Tyrannosaurus on the back and I really like that so let me just let me turn them all around for you guys so just turn them just like that See, that's where all the backpack, they're sort of like, how should we say, backpacks. But let's bring the camera forward so you can get a better look. And look at that, it's the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur. All looking fantastic with that nice sort of triangle pattern at the top. And there's the Tyrannosaurus there. That looks really cool. And we've got the Triceratops Dinosaur as well. That just looks really cool, I love that. And then finally, pterodactyl for the pink ranger, like, like so. Like so? <laughs> right so? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not Scooby-Doo. Right, let me just get this back on. 
and then turn them back round because obviously there's something they're meant to do but we have to get this stuff now I haven't quite got to grips of how this works so I do apologize in advance so yeah I think that's it and if I haven't got it right I apologize in advance there we go I think the helmets are meant to go in the in the back in here but I haven't quite figured out how it works yet oh yes I have you push it you basically untuck it and then it and you push it down into the backpack like so so I'll just quickly do those for the others before we do what these figures are meant to do I need to show you the detailing of the other two weapons and then also need to take a look at the detailing for the civilian heads of the rangers this way okay so first of all let's have a look at the other weapons shall we so we have the blue rangers power lance with nice silver for the blade again the coin is not painted gold like it's meant to and there's a bit of missing paintwork right at the top which is meant to be blue just in this area and then look, this is right though all these top three blades are meant to be silver but that bit's meant to be blue that piece right there that triangle you're looking at right just above the coin and that's the same for the other end but overall it does look pretty cool and then we have the pink rangers power bow which is well very hollow indeed which is it's a bit annoying it's very hollow but there you go and then the the arrow for the power bow nice and silver very nice now the civilian heads as you can see they look pretty cool actually they're quite close to what they look like in the tv show so that's jason the red ranger billy the blue ranger looking very cool Although the hair, I don't think it's the right colour. I always thought Billy was brown colour, but there you go. And there's Kimberly with a gymnastic headband. Now that hairstyle reminds me of the Trick or Treat et style hairstyle she had in Pat My Orphan Power Rangers in the Trick or Treat episode. Okay, so, what is it these figures do? Well, they're morphing hero figures, so obviously they morph. How do you morph them? Well, watch this. Now I'm going to do this in order of the morph core. So, it's morphing time. So first, so to morph a power, to morph these figures into a Power Ranger, all you've got to do is squeeze their legs together and pterodactyl. Oh, well that didn't go well, did it? <laughs> Failed attempt. So pterodactyl. Let's try again with blue. Triceratops. Oh, you have to give it quite a squeeze in order for it to morph. And there's, here we go. Last one. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> And yeah, I think to finish this off, um, articulation wise, well, they, the only articulation they have is with their hands, obviously for their weapons, but overall, oh, and the bit in the arms, that's cool, so that'll be for all of them, so they're on a up, down, well, they're on a ball joint, pretty much, it's just the legs, that you can't turn the feet, but you can turn the hands and move the arms, but the heads don't move at all because obviously of the... Um, because of the the mouldedness of the figures. There we go. So let's get Kimberly with her power bow, if it will let me put it in her hand. I hope it will. Okay. Come on, Kimberly, get your power bow in your hand. Uh, I always have to. <laughs> it's. Is it, have you ever had this in the middle of filming a review where the figures don't want to, the toys don't want to cooperate? <laughs> oh no, come on. I don't, I think I've got it. There we go. I've also noticed something else on the bow. Right there, there's a little hole bit there. And I think the power bow arrow. Yep, as I thought. It goes in there just like that. So she's ready to fire her power bow at the party patrollers or gold or whoever's attacking Angel Grove. And finally, let's get Billy and his power lance in his hand. Hopefully this one won't be such a pain, but let's see. Yeah, get in that hand, right. Oh, this one's, <laughs> the plastic on the hand on this one's a little...
stiff but then again these are brand new figures so it's to be expected <clears throat> I think it's good oh <sighs> oh my Jesus Christ Hasbro you really need to work on the the plastic on these hands are very hard to get any weapon for the figures to hold their weapons Oh, God almighty. There we go. Push the thumb down. Twiddle it around a bit. Pull it down just a fraction. So it goes in the middle. There we go. So be careful of that, kids. When you put the figure in his hand, the weapon in his hand, because it could you could pinch or hurt yourself if you're not careful. So take your time when you do it, but because <laughs> I'm doing a review, I have to speed it up. And yes, that's it for this video. I really had a lot of fun reviewing these figures. And you know, these figures are really great, and I know for a fact that Hasbro are going to be doing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers auto morphing figures. But these figures, these new ones, will be a lot better than before because they'll have more articulation. But if you want to learn more, head on over to the Ranger Chamber page, send us a message, and we'll, we'll show you the pictures, and or maybe you'll find them on our page anyway. And that's it, so I'd just like to say thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like the video, share the video, comment below. And the question of the day is, who is your favourite Mighty Morphin Power Ranger? Is it one of these three? Is it Jason the Red Ranger, Kimberly the Pink Ranger or Billy the Blue Ranger? And of course, go go subscribe! Because we've got many more Power Rangers, Super Sentai videos coming your way to the Ranger Chamber channel very soon. And yes, this is me, Joe, from the Ranger Chamber team saying have a more phenomenal day. May the power protect you. And myself and the Ranger Chamber team will see you all next time. See you, Ranger Nation.